Get it, Maggie. You say, hi everyone. Hello. 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 Welcome to another YouTube video. Can you say welcome? Good boy. Hey guys, all right, another week here. We're finally getting rid of that sickness just. So we thought we'd head out just for a little bit of a swim and a bit of a play around with Maggie. Okay, so this video is gonna be a day of eating for the Morris family. So as majority of you would know, we are real food proponents and uh, to the point where we will even limit carbohydrates to, to a certain degree, depending on our training timeline, uh, to get a little bit more fat adapted and a little bit more keto adapted for the endurance endeavors that we do have. So. If you're into either low carb, keto type eating or real food is what I call it, uh, tune in and let's jump into this one. Okay, come on. Can you get up? <laughs> come on. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> oh, good boy. We have a whole bunch of leftover vegetables that we need to get rid of, don't we, Dick? Um, so, yeah, we're going to be putting them after we cook our sausages from our local butcher. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up all these vegetables and then I'm going to stick them in the oven. I don't know how long for. Um, so if you're looking for a recipe, it's a little bit more uh, freestyle, the way that I like to do things. The Nicole's a little bit more of a recipe for, but I'm definitely not. So I'm going to cut the vegetables up no real specific shape or order um, and then I'm going to put them in the oven probably for half an hour on really high heat get them at least cooked so I'm going to cook the sausages on the pan here and then and then I'll uh, cut the sausages up throw them in and then I'm going to make a a mix with uh, this thing here which is coconut milk and coconut cream so plenty of good fats in there plenty of fiber here not that you probably really need fiber but I like the taste of vegetables <laughs> So just a breakdown, we've got pumpkin, we've got potato, we've got cauliflower, I say carrot already, I'm not sure if I say carrot already. I'm gonna throw the broccoli in a little bit later, um, bit straight away. So this is gonna go in the oven probably again, half an hour on nice and high. Get the vegetables half cooked at least, then I'll cook the snags in the meantime. And then we'll, we'll throw down some food. So now I'm gonna let's cut up these, get these sausages broken up. So they are beef sausages, if you want to know. Um, I'm gonna cook them on the pan just over here, which you'll see over here in a second. But uh, something definitely nice and easy anyway. So this is what Nicole and I like to do quite a fair bit is we will use leftovers and then obviously add some sort of protein to it. Sausage has been pretty fatty, so a bit of protein in here obviously but um, there's still quite a fair bit of fat um, now with the pan uh, we won't add any oil or anything like that most of the sausages anyway will cook nicely and they're usually a bit of bit of fat that will come out of them so we won't need to add anything kind of on top of it or anything like that but otherwise it's just you know how do you make do with what you've already got in the cupboard and I think that's a a great way to kind of make your meals you know, more enjoyable. Like, 
one of our what we would call higher carbohydrate meals. So as you would, majority of you would know that uh, Nicole and I will follow more of a fat adapted approach where the carbohydrates are relatively limited, not super low. Um, if some of you have heard of ketogenic diets beforehand, they're really, it's, we're, we're really not that low. So although we would go through periods of time um, where we are in a state of ketosis, either that's why we're either when we're fasting throughout the day, that's why I probably didn't really do a full day's worth of food because a lot of time I do spend time fasting um, unintentionally because I can burn fat so efficiently that you know, I'm not really driven by food anymore, which is what I used to be all the time, right? I used to need, need my meals to be super scheduled, but when you become more keto adapted, fat adapted, you just don't need to worry about when you're, when you're eating as such. You can kind of just wait until you know the time allows it, until you've got the right food in front of you. So it's really flexible. So yeah, again, this is one of our higher carbohydrate type meals that we will have. Um, but considering how much exercise that we would normally do, haven't been exercising at the moment. We've just been doing rombwood. Um, so we are just kind of taking a bit of a chill pill with family being sick. So. Um, but yeah, usually this is like one I said, one of our higher carbohydrate meals. And with all the exercise that we do do, this will still, 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 this sort of carbohydrate levels will still allow us to dip in and out of fat and ketone, ketosis quite a fair bit. Not that it's necessary, but um, it's really, really helpful, particularly for your endurance endeavors as well. Become very, very fuel efficient if you don't need to necessarily rely on an external source. Uh, constantly can be very very helpful particularly to stave off bonking or hitting the wall or anything like that you know and I think that's when one of the big things that we've kind of changed the paradigm or we're changing the paradigm and there's a few of us, a few of us in the industry uh, who are starting to do it as well is that you know you don't need to fuel yourself with just junk food or you know carbohydrates and sugar to get the most out of the body you've got this fat fat reserves on you that that are honestly they make you go forever, right? So I've just finished a couple of months ago a uh, 133 kilometer trek that I did on my own. Um, so that was completely fasted. No energy whatsoever and ran and traveled and hiked over 133 kilometers, which is you know, pretty insane when sometimes you can't even go, some people can't even go two or three hours without a meal. So, and that's all fat fueled, and that's what eating a lower carbohydrate diet will allow you to do. It's not some sort of magic thing that will cause you to have weight loss. However, for adherence, for your satiety, for hunger, hey, it helps heaps. Just got enough garlic curry powder. Okay, so we're gonna pour in some garlic powder, quite a fair bit, and a stack of onion powder. And then probably this whole container <laughs> of curry batter, whatever's left. Okay, so that's coconut milk, coconut cream, curry powder, onion, flavors that we need. Is that it? Is that we're going to throw in?
broccoli. Mommy, puppy. Puppy, broccoli, yeah. Yeah, mommy. Hey, puppy. <laughs> broccoli. Yeah, mommy, puppy. I'm a bit more of a pork man. Yeah. Can you eat it? Because I've got some. One of my clients and I was talking to too much. Mm. She, two years ago, she's been at like the weight that she's at now. She got, like she lost weight. Two years ago, and she like, got to the point that she is at now with us, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so we started at like 83, 84, and she's down. She just tickled the 72s. Uh, uh, and when she hit 73 last time, uh, like she, she hit a plateau. And her hands in here, and it all came back on. But this time, uh, uh, I've been calling about the uh, fact that she might be hitting a plateau pretty soon just because of the way things are slowing down. Uh, but, uh, every, you right, buddy? Uh, but every week, it just keeps just going for the tickle, 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 tickle. That's crazy. 84, 84. Like a 72, 73. I think that's at like 12 or 13 percent. Shabby. Ooh. I don't know, it's just awesome now. Like the quality of the food that she's on. Her diet's so clean. And so. So at a point where she can just maintain it all. Mm. So it's not hard, because she doesn't have to put her hands in here. It's just one of those ones where you're like, oh my god, I've never met you. Puppy. <laughs> and we're, you know, we're working together for five months and you're just like, what the hell? Oh. You just changed someone's life, all right? Ah, Bob, it's hot. Back out in the bush, back out training again. Uh, did a LAHR run yesterday. Today I am just hiking. Actually, what I'm doing today is mapping out a trek for our team. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna head out to the Colo River and do a bit of uh, liloing down some rapids and whatnot, and a bit of hiking and a bit of bush bashing. Anyway, so I just today I'm heading out to confirm and check all the tracks, get all the snakes away so that there's no snakes on the day. <laughs> all right, let's jump into it. Faithful and brave. Okay, so I have found our point where I will meet our old track that we had done a couple of years ago with our team to then this new little component that we're going to cut some corners and see a bit more terrain. Otherwise, I just sent a satellite message to Nicole uh, with this in-reach Garmin here. So this is what I take out with me every time I'm on my own. Look, to be honest, even if I'm out with people or just trail running in general, I will take it um, just in case it's got an SOS uh, signal on it. So, um, it allows Nicole to at least track me and see where I am. Stay as safe as possible in these kind of predicament sort of spots. But otherwise, it's time for me to get back. So I've been seeing a baby snake and now a big, uh, big bazooka, red belly black. First thing to make your heart rate go up, that's for bloody sure. <sighs> So I'm just back down to the creek, down to the down to the bottom again. Uh, found my way to the top. 
So now, well, I guess now I'm on full snake alert again. Not that I kind of have dropped that, but when you see one, it definitely, uh, definitely reminds you that they're out here all the time. Whew. Um, but otherwise, okay, so now I've just got to try and find my way up this next side of the, next side of the track, back up to the car. It spots just like what I'm at right now. Underneath this, underneath this cave, it's just, like you just don't see this sort of shit when you when you're on a track. It's amazing. Look at it. Massive. Alrighty, done. Looped up team Christmas party hike. <laughs> it's all mapped out, ready to go. Should be about four to five kilometer hike initially. Then about 10 to 12 kilometers of lilowing down the Kola River. And then probably about another 10 kilometers of bush bashing after that as well. So should be quite the adventure, that's for sure. Okay, so it's not really, I'm not going to give you much meal prep around this one. This is five eggs with, I don't know, a tablespoon of butter cooked in, bit of salt over. So this is what we would eat quite a fair bit, right? Yeah. So the last dinner that you saw, obviously that's a fair bit of prep. This is even easier. This is honestly what I will do throughout the day. So at the moment it is, what is it, 10, 30, quarter to 11. Um, just in, in between calls at the moment. So quickly made some eggs, good protein, awesome fats, and it's easy. You know, I think some people try to overcomplicate either the dieting process or their their palate, right? If you give yourself too, especially if you're trying to diet or you're trying to lose weight, if you give yourself too many, too much variety, can actually be uh, not a good thing. You'll get higher higher levels of satiety by keeping it relatively plain. Do you want some? Yeah. So a lot of the time when we're cooking eggs also, this is fried. A lot of the time, which is what you'll see here now, is I'll get a get a case of eggs, I'll put them all into the hot water, so all into water, and I'll boil them. <laughs> you don't need to do that. We'll boil them and then let them cool down and then put them back in the, in the container and put it back into the fridge and then just leave it there. So if I need a snack, like the best thing to have in the fridge is just some boiled eggs. You know, if you don't like cold eggs, well then you can just heat it back up in the microwave or you can make curried eggs, which is something that I always make all the time. But otherwise eggs are so, yum, are so versatile, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. We can have them any way we want. So if you're stuck for ideas and you like eggs or if you're busy and you're struggling to have um if you're struggling to you know what should i do you know meal prep and all that sort of stuff hey just get some eggs you can have them anytime any place depending on how you cook it would you like some yeah. last little bit before we say goodbye yeah. good say bye bye bye